Hey guys, it's Karina with Karina Loves to Plan. Welcome back to my channel. So here I am with a lovely package from Katie. This is the second time, gosh, is it only the second time that we've done a little exchange where we um, we did this earlier in the year where we decided, you know, we're going to swap some inks, but also include some really fun things in here as well. And it's just, I have to say, uh, Katie and I have daily conversations about pens about everything but we've never actually met in person and this is one of the things i love about the fountain pen community is the friendships i've made online with people all over the world and just the kindness of this community so let's go ahead and open this package oh my god i can never not rip the paper okay oh my goodness Oh my gosh. Okay, let's take all of these out and heads up, they have a big drying shift. Okay, so there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Oh, so excited for that. And then what is this? Okay, first of all, glitter. And then just a lovely note from Katie and just, oh, I know we talk every day but like notes like these i actually post them up on i have them on my wall and i still have the one from the last one so if you've ever written me a letter i still have them i don't throw them away i i keep them and then oh okay i love how the, the how what i'm saying is i love how these look like they're your own barcode katie but oh wow me totally <laughs> remembering to include my branding so Katie is an amazing artist and she hand paints everything so she's also scanned these and made them into stickers. I love the strawberries but oh my gosh just the detail. Oh my goodness. Oh I cannot wait to use this. I love the hippo the last time she sent this to me so I cannot wait to use these in my journal. So thank you. I'm gonna put them back in here. Then where's the opening? Um, am I being dumb? Oh, no, right there. So she also asked me if there's any paper I haven't tried yet. And one of the things that Katie is amazing with is also, um, she does some great paper binding. She sent me two notebooks last time, which I've already used. And now she is sending me Cosmo Air Snow Paper, which I have never tried before. So I'm very interested to see how this stacks up. Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then what is this? Oh, hold on, there's a sticky note. 100% cotton pad. Oh my gosh. So which one's which? Oh, okay. So the the eight by six and the four and a half by six is the arches. And then the five by seven and a half is the Baohong Academy Cold Press. So these are really good quality uh, watercolor paper and she knows that I've been getting into it so thank you for the samples of those that is just so so kind oh okay now I have glitter everywhere so then oh you totally did not have to get me both but oh my gosh so Yoseka stationery um with their uh sailor limited edition specifically for their shop. They also did keychains and while I don't have the actual pens, I thought these keychains were so, so cute and I couldn't decide between the two and Katie got me both. But how pretty are those? Like, oh, I'm gonna put them on a pencil case or I'm gonna put them on a, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm gonna put them on my wallet, my Galen Leather uh, Weeks wallet. I'm gonna put one on there and it's gonna look so cute. Oh my gosh. And then I'm gonna put in another one. Where am I gonna put the other one? on my actual keychain. These are so cute. So this one I believe is the, this one is the home. And I believe this one is the refresh, but correct me if I'm wrong, if I've mixed the two of them up. But how cute are those? Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm gonna just leave those there because they're adorable. And then lastly, the ink. We come to the ink. I'm very excited about these because one of the things, if you don't know about this about Katie, and thankfully none of them leaked, um, one of the things about Katie is she is, a chemist by trade and one of the things that she loves doing is also mixing inks and she has quite a few videos on her channel which I will link below 
with mixing inks and I asked her, you know, I like greens, I like purples, do whatever you want. So I am so excited. There's a custom mix of iris, a custom mix of evergreen, a custom, ooh, a shimmering coral, and then Vinta Parole. Oh, and I really should say that with a better accent. And then Toasty Firewood, use an easy to clean pen. Good to know. All right, so let me grab my B6 Galen leather notebook, which is this one here, which has Tamoya River paper. And this is where I do all of my ink pen journal sampling. Let's get myself ready here. The next one is a Birmingham Pen Co. Custom Mix Evergreen. So what Katie has is she's purchased a, um, a few of the mixing inks from Birmingham Pen Co. And I think they came in like 100 mil bottles. So she is set for life for ink with those. And I asked her to come up with a few mixes for me. I'm very excited to see how these turn out. Okay. So with the sample ink file. Oh, that's gorgeous. I, whoops, love that. Oh my goodness. I don't know what that reminds me of. Um, I feel like there is one of those platinum black inks that this reminds me of. And now I can't remember the name of it. But it is a gorgeous, like darker, like it is evergreen. Beautiful. I almost wish you had included the, the mix of these. So B PC custom evergreen and your little formula for creating each of these but it's exciting to see what you've come up with and what you think I would like to it actually comes off really well off of the brass dip pen and I think that would look amazing in an extra fine or fine nib oh gorgeous so that's the B P C custom evergreen wow so far love that B P C custom again I think that's also a very good fall or Christmassy color. Look at the shading on that. That has turned out beautifully. So that is one of Katie's custom Birmingham Pen Co. mixes evergreen. The next custom mix, mix is called Iris. And I know for a fact that these are not shimmer inks. So where's my pipette? And I'm counting out <laughs> six grid spaces. That's why I'm doing that weird pointing thing. That's why I like putting the grid behind the blank paper so that I know exactly how many spaces I need to make sure that everything is spaced out evenly. <gasps> oh, wow. It reminds me of Nekoyanagi. I'll be interested to see how that dries. That's what you meant by drying shift, isn't it? That it's going to, like the, what it looks like wet versus dry. Very, very cool. So, do my little floral. I love that. You could see the chromo shading in there too. There's like bits of blue and pink and purple. So I wonder what the mix was for this. Beautiful and actually quite legible. That was one of the things that I had issues with with Nekoyanagi was that it just didn't feel legible. It didn't feel wet enough in my pen, but this one actually feels quite good coming off that brass dip pen. 
gorgeous. Look at the way that that's drying on the rhodia paper as well. Like that looks more blue in the more concentrated areas. So BBC Custom Iris. Ooh. And look at how well that matches with <laughs> the nib holder. Whoops. BPC Custom Iris. That is a beautiful mix. Like, look at how well that that matches with the nib holder. And you can see the areas of blue and then the purple and the pink. That's such a multi-dimensional color. So that is a custom mix called Iris. This next one is called Shimmering Coral. So I'm mixing it up a bit here because I'm assuming shimmering means that there is shimmer. Huh? <laughs> so smart. Okay, I'm grabbing a on my pipette. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just a few dots on my rhodia paper. Like that is bright. Let's see. Ooh. That is punchy. And yes, I can definitely see the coral because it's leaning a little bit more to the, the pink rather than like yellow or red for an orange tone. I don't know if I am any expert when it comes to, you know, the, the tones of colors and things like that, especially since I, I still don't consider myself that much of a, an artist or an expert when it comes to colors, but yeah, I can see that there is just a, like that undertone of pink. Not red, but pink. So this is B PC Custom Shimmering Coral. Whoop. That is pretty. See, I know I was in good hands with telling Katie to just have fun. I did like a good green and a purple, and she's definitely done that. Wow. And with the shimmer too. So shimmering coral. Totally did not spell that right, but that's okay. You know, in order to sample inks, you don't have to do all of these different things that I'm doing. If you have just the one notebook that you're keeping your ink samples or ink swatches in, that's great. Do what works for you because if you start trying to do things just because you think everybody else is doing them, you're gonna lose the joy in it. Oh, wow. Look at that, that is bright, punchy, and the shimmer isn't too, uh, it doesn't take over it. The shimmer really, really accentuates the color. I apologize, there's a little dot of, I think it was iris in there, but otherwise you can really see. Gosh, look at that. I adore that. That is gonna be so, so fun to use. And I think even in an extra fine or a fine nib, those would be great as well. So that is the custom shimmering, just double checking, coral. <laughs> Last we have Toasty firewood and using an easy to clean pen. And I did spot shimmer at the bottom. So I'm gonna shake that up. And a key thing when you are doing any type of ink swatching is to not wear clothes that have a <laughs> sleeves that can get into everything. Because I feel like I've dirtied a few pieces of clothing when in ink swatching with long sleeves. Oh, wow. It's such a, it is toasty. And it's like a golden brown. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh. Katie, you did an excellent, excellent, excellent job in all of these mixes. I am 
super impressed and now very motivated <laughs> to figure out you know my own mixes should that if should that time ever come Oop. too many bubbles let's make sure i get the ink off there wow so this is the pc custom toasty firewood And that seems to write really well. No issues coming off of the nib. And then the different line widths. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So BPC Custom. Toasty Firewood. coming off the nib very, very nicely. Such a lovely golden toasty brown. It looks a bit more orange, like more darker brown on the Rhodia paper than just even this sample. And this is Tamoy River paper. So interesting how certain properties come out depending on the paper. Wow. Oh my gosh. Did I miss the shimmer? Or I feel like, yeah, I must have missed it. It must have settled at the bottom before I got to it. Yeah, because there is a bit of shimmer in there. So I don't know, maybe I missed a little bit of it. There's some in there, but I think it's a bit harder to see. But otherwise the color is gorgeous. I love the shimmer in that. Oh, overall, love these mixes. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Ferrisville Press Twinkling Tea Party, as well as a you know a little bit more green version of Emerald of Shavor. So I'm excited to have more of a color like that because I really do like that combination. But then in terms of um, Katie's mixes. I can't pick a favorite because I love them all. I love the shimmering coral, the toasty firewood. I don't normally go for a brown, but this is very warm. And, I mean, it's funny because for um, day two of 30 inch 30 days, I'm using this ink and just look at the difference in browns. Who knew? Who knew? So here is everything I received from Katie, from the keychains to the lovely letter to her stickers and to the different types of paper and all of the ink samples. Thank you so much, Katie. This means the world to me and your friendship. Just this past year, it feels like we've known each other for longer than that, but you know, the the daily conversations and the all of the penning, the fountain penning that we do, it means so, so much to me. All right, guys, thank you so much for sharing in this experience with me. I know I was just gushing over everything, but I love being able to share that excitement with each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching and have yourselves a great day.